And so to begin to talk about trauma, I love using this example of a zombie apocalypse, because what could be more traumatic than a zombie apocalypse, right? That's pretty bad. And usually um, no one survives a zombie apocalypse. If you like the genre of mu movies, you know it's pretty much game over for everyone. But let's assume that this man does survive the zombie apocalypse. And according to the DSM-5's definition, he qualifies for a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder because he was exposed to that actual or threatened death, serious injury, or violence, either witnessing it um, or experiencing it directly. And given the severity of what he experienced in this you know, supposed zombie apocalypse, he would most likely um, have post-traumatic stress. We could easily diagnose him with that. But he doesn't necessarily have to come away from that experience with PTSD. Not everyone, and we're gonna talk about this in a minute, not everyone who's exposed to traumatic or potentially traumatizing events comes away with the symptoms of PTSD. Um, and, and not everyone um, who uh, isn't exposed doesn't have PTSD. And what I mean by that is sometimes there is vicarious traumatization when it happens to someone you love or you're hearing about it on the news. You know, a lot of us have experienced just the traumatic events of this last year and a half and just listening to, even if we were lucky enough that it didn't happen in our own, own home during this pandemic, we were aware of what was going on in the world at large. Um, one of the things I wanna show and point out here around the diagnosis of PTSD is an unfortunate event that happened that the DSM-5 removed what the DSM-4 had included which was an acknowledgement that PTSD evolves from an experience of intense fear, helplessness, or horror to focus on the nature of the event, of what happened in the past, even if that past was just yesterday, right? And I say it's unfortunate that this was modified or removed from the current diagnosis, because if you think about it, we diagnose PTSD not based on the experience of being exposed to a traumatic event, we diagnose PTSD based on the resulting emotional, somatic, behavioral, and cognitive symptoms that a person is left with. And I really want to focus on that because that is how we work and um, treatment, conceptualize our cases and treatment plan in EMDR. And this is what we do as trauma and EMDR therapists is we look at what a client comes to us with symptomatically based on their exposure. And we'll get into that today for sure. Um, oh, 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 oh.